So hello everybody, it is time for another Power BI video, but this time it's a little bit different because we're almost on vacation and I think we can put a little bit of the technicalities, the technical aspect on the side and talk about other topics. How about that? So in today's video, I would like to talk about something that you ask me quite often and especially on power weeks, it's like, Ruth, how do you do it so you don't feel overwhelmed about all the changes that we see on Power BI? You know, they release features like super quick. So how do you do that? How do you manage not to feel overwhelmed? And here's the thing, I did feel overwhelmed. I, in the beginning, it was quite tough, actually, especially as they pick up the pace. And it was not only updating Power BI desktop once a month, but it was also uh, Power BI service, Power BI mobile, Power BI for developers, you, you know, the nice data flows, machine learning, artificial intelligence, the Power BI bubble is just growing and growing, or ecosystem. So it's even more challenging now than it was before to actually stay on track. So how do I do that? Well, the answer is actually quite simple. I don't. I do not stay on track on everything that Microsoft develops. Obviously, it would be impossible. Then that would be my single task for for the year, right? So no, I don't. Um, so do I feel overwhelmed about that? It's like, I have actually uh, stopped doing that and uh, I, I want to share with you how I think so maybe it will help you too. So the my approach to all the changes that Power BI does is as follows. And number one, I, I've come to terms that it's impossible to know everything there is to know about Power BI. It's just, just not possible. So what I do is when they release news about, oh, there's some new, mm? so I go and I check. I just scan through things. And I said, okay, does this interest me now? Just don't know. And if the answer is no, I just put it away. And there are things that I know like, this is something that I'm not going to touch. I might go back to that later on, but I said in the moment, it's like, not interested. Don't look at it anymore. There are some other releases that, where they, you know, it's like, oh, mm, maybe I will need that in the future. So I use a program called Pocket and I put it in my pocket. It's basically a bookmark program. So I put it on, on I do a bookmark and that, that program saves the bookmark for me. And like 95% of the times I never go back to check that bookmark. But it just feels right in my head to just save a bookmark, even if I can Google it afterwards. But it's perhaps for a special tick on my brain that this is something that maybe I should remember for later. And then we have the things that are fun. And I do like uh, maybe if I have time, normally don't and then I have the things that oh this is something that I either really need to know or that I should know and those I check. So I'm basically consuming Microsoft news on a need to know basis and on a preference basis. So if I find it interested and I need it I'll check it otherwise I bookmark it or I'll forget about it and I why don't I feel anxious about it? Well, there's Google. You can Google absolutely anything nowadays. So if you, I mean, the, the most important thing is just, you know, to have the wording so you can search for it. But even if you don't, you can still search around it. So you can find almost anything. And if you are a Power BI consultant and a customer ask you for a feature, you can say, I'll check that out and come back to you. You don't have to have answers like that. Um, if you've read about it, it's one of the things that you've read a little bit, but you didn't go deep, you can say, yes, I think it's possible, but let me, let me go back to that and we'll see. And uh, try to stay up to date on a need to know basis. I think it is 
the best way. I would recommend to watch Amanda's videos on the uh, new Power BI releases. I am lucky enough that I do Power Week, which means that I, I you know, I share pick. You've seen it. I share pick the things that I think are cool and I think they are useful, and the other ones I ignore them completely. But Amanda goes through all of them. Okay, so I just pick the things that I should know, the things that I want to know, and the rest I do like this. And it works beautifully, like a charm. Don't have to feel bad about it. And the world is changing. It's changing fast. And with technology being more and more intrusive in our lives, it's going to change even more. And we need to be aware, but we we need to also be able to select things that interest us and what we want to see and what we want to learn, okay? So I hope this is useful. I really hope that it helps you manage change better. Don't feel bad if you don't know anything. Just remember that it exists. Google it when you need it. And that's all you need to know. Then you should be good to go. So, yeah, this is all. This is all. Let me know how you manage that, how you manage change, how you manage all these, you know, the rate of innovation and development that the Power BI team has. I would be very curious if you have any tips, additional tips or, you know, any other tips uh, to help me and to help others just manage this incredible pace of development. With that said, uh, I'm going to stop for this video today. Let me know what you think about the video. Um, let me know if you would like me to talk about other things. You know, I will continue doing technical stuff. I'll swear. <laughs> so I will. But I think it would be fun to just talk about data. How about that? Okay, I'm going to stop talking and I'll see you again on the next video. Bye bye.